In the previous video, you learned about the general working principle of Zabbix Actions. In this video, I want to give you an example how to leverage remote commands to make Zabbix fix a situation automatically. Say that your web server stops working once in a while, and you haven't yet figured out what the problem is. So let's add an item that monitors if the web server runs. I go to the host, click on items, create a new item that I call Apache Processes, and the key is procnum of Apache 2. I assign the application processes and save. Now I add a trigger called Apache is down that fires if the number of Apache processes is zero. I set the severity to average and save. Now we need an action that tries to restart Apache. I call it try to restart Apache. The step duration is 60. The condition is the Apache is down trigger I just created. As an action, I will add a remote command on the current host, and I want to run a custom script from the Zebex agent. The command is sudo etc init.d apache2 start. The reason I use sudo is that the Zebex agent does not run as root. Your sudo's configuration should look similar to this. You also have to enable remote commands in the configuration file of your Zebex agent. Now the system administrator will also want to know that the web server went down, so let's send a message to all Zabbix administrators. So now we have two operations that run. When I stop the web server processes, the trigger will fire and this action will run. You can see what happens in monitoring events. When you click on the link in the left column, you get to see the operations that Zabbix ran. First, it sent me an email. And second, it restarted the web server. But perhaps you prefer to get another email if the restarting failed. So let's edit the operations again. I configure the interval between operation steps to be 60 seconds. Both the initial email and the attempt to restart the web server happen immediately when the trigger fires. If the problem still exists two minutes later, we should send another message. So I add another step from 3 to 3 which is two minutes after step one. The message's subject will be restarting Apache failed, manual interaction required. I click on add, and you can see that two minutes after the incident, the desperate second message will be sent. So much for actions. I showed you the properties of actions and what they are capable of. You learned about messages and remote commands, and you saw how to create an action that tries to fix a stop web server and send out another message if that failed.